All right. Oh, shit. We're going to start this off with Wheeler Yuta. Let's see if he can actually cut a promo this week. Last week, he tried to, you know, come at the promo king, but he couldn't. I like the intensity though. I I I think Wheeler Yuta has lots of potential. And the audacity to put your hands on Tony Schiavone, a man who has done more for AEW than you ever will. And Maxwell, Maxwell, I think actions should have consequences. And what better punishment than for you to walk down here and fight me in my city? See, like, Yuta's doing better now than he was last week. Last week was horrible. Damn, everyone's got their scarves on here in Philly. I'll go ahead and do it for you. All right, what do we got? I think it doesn't help that Maxwell's so over. So, like, you just trying, but he just can't. He can't deliver. Now, now he's over delivering. Just keep it short and sweet. Here we go. To save the segment. Na 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 Ah, he's got the Mets jersey on. <laughs> Everybody give it up for Wheeler Yuta, the hometown boy, huh? Yeah, from Philadelphia, you know Philly. Damn, it just takes MJF to say that and they cheer for him. Hey, speaking of embarrassing, hi Tony Schiavone. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh man. I would laugh so hard so Tony Giovanni got up and just punched him in the face. Yes, we got the two screen. Let's go. He's not wrong though. Yuta is very good in the ring. When you decided to go toe to toe on the microphone with Daddy last week. My Daddy. Time out, didn't he? Oh yeah, Daddy had to spank you some. You know, I found it rich. Philly, I'm holding the microphone. I find it interesting you claim I don't care about this company, and yet here you are taking up a lot of TV time. From the biggest draw. Ha ah, ha ha! Facts! Worse, you're doing it by talking into a microphone. You, Wheeler Yuta, the. You, Wheeler Yuta, the guy who's got about as much as charisma as Joe Frazier present day. Joe Frazier's dead. Speaking of dead, let's talk about the fact that the Phillies are dead in the water and are never going to win a World Series oh, yeah, the ever again. Oh, uh, whoops. Sorry, Wheeler. There's, there's more of that local sports team talk. It's almost like I don't give a... <laughs> it's almost like at 26 years of age, I don't have to care because I make more money than everyone in this 
bum town. I make more money than you watching at home. I'm a multi-millionaire at 26 because Maxwell, Maxwell, let's get one thing very, very clear. I don't care about your money. I don't care about your Mets jersey. I don't care about your scarf. If you don't want to fight me in this ring, I will leave you in a pool of blood on Broad Street. Here we go. This is what I like. Finally, we're getting some tensity from friggin' Yuta. Let's go. Here we go. You may not know this, Max, but bad things happen in Philadelphia. And tonight is no exception. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm not so fast, Wheeler. Oh, yeah, here comes the firm. MJF has on retainer. Oh, the ass boy chance. I hear him. Wheeler, I don't do brawls, but if you want to professionally wrestle, I'm game for that. So you want to wrestle me tonight in Philadelphia? Huh? Do people want to see us go? No. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'll see you in the ring next week in Dumpy, D.C. Ooh, MJF's coming back. Let's go. My name is, hold on a second. You people don't deserve to hear me say my catchphrase. Damn, this is the first time he's not saying his catchphrase. I'm gonna go <laughs> up in that skybox. I'm gonna watch John Moxley be an absolutely horrible wrestler, and I just might cash my check-in on the Blackpool Cuckold Club. <laughs> I do gotta say, I'm excited to see MJF back in the ring next week, though. And I think him and Yuta, they're gonna put on a great match, and I think people are gonna remember how good MJF is in that ring.